Hi, welcome to the training on soft updates for auto attendance and call queues. My name is Agus Rahman. I am a senior customer engineering architect based out of Sydney, Australia, and I am part of the Skype customer experience and deployment team. If you have been watching the soft training series thus far, I would expect for you to be familiar with soft already. For those joining for the first time, you can get further information about SOF from SkypeOperationFramework.com. SOF is a living framework, and we continue to work on updating the assets and delivering new offers. Your feedback drives the update to SOF, and please use our feedback channels listed here to share your thoughts and ideas. This is April 2017 version of this training. Due to the ever-changing nature of Skype for Business Online and SOF, I would like to point out that things may have changed upon watching this training. For most recent up-to-date trainings, go to skypeoperationfarmo.com slash academy. We also have the SOF community as part of developing the multifaceted approach to SOF. We'd love to hear from you on how you are applying SOF to your projects and share lessons learned from the field. Let's get to the training on SOF updates for auto attendance and call queues. This training is intended to provide you with information on what has been updated in SOF to include auto attendance and call queues as part of a plan, deliver, and operate journey towards customer success with Skype for Business Online. This training will highlight specific updates in SOF that will help you identify organization's requirements for call routing solutions such as auto attendance and hunt groups. And this training is all about planning and managing the implementation of call routing requirements of an organization. The reason we are doing this training is for you to be able to take advantage of auto attendance and call queues as part of the soft journey that the organization you are working with is taking. Prior to the availability of auto attendance and call queues, during the plan phase, in the past, you would address the requirements by holding off migration for users that depend on such call routing solutions. Now, equipped with the technical knowledge on auto attendance and call queues, you should be able to use the updated soft assets to bring about the additional capabilities offered by Skype for Business Online and identify and assess the call routing requirements. When the requirements match the capabilities offered, then you can use the updated assets to plan for the implementation of auto attendance and call queues. By providing existing PBS call routing capabilities as part of the overall solution, you will have a greater chance to drive the cloud PBS implementation or migration towards customer success. This training is delivered with the assumption that you have thorough understanding of SOF all the phases, activities, and assets. If not, I would strongly recommend you to take the previous soft trainings available through Skype Academy so that you can relate to what will be discussed later on. We have released specific technical trainings for auto attendance and call queues that delve into the capabilities in detail via Skype Academy that I would recommend, again, strongly to consume prior to taking this training as we are not going to talk about the capabilities in detail. The expected outcome of this training is for you to be able to incorporate auto attendance and call queues as part of a soft journey through the paces in related activities and leverage the assets that have been updated for auto attendance and call queues. Let's talk about auto attendance and call queues briefly in the context of soft journey. Auto attendance provides an organization with an automated voice response system to handle incoming calls. Typically, it is serving the office mainline number, provide callers with options to reach specific teams or groups within the organization, an option to reach individuals through directory search, and an option to speak to the operator. Auto attendance requires a service number that you need to acquire prior to the implementation. For office mainline number, however, unless there is a compelling event to issue new phone number for the office mainline number, uh, such as office moves, then often the requirement is to maintain the existing phone number for auto attendance. 
to address this requirement, then you need to plan for number porting from existing service provider to Skype for business online. Next, you need to understand the constraints surrounding the users that can be operators for auto attendance and users that are reachable from auto attendance directory search. Generally, auto attendance exclude hybrid voice users at the moment. These are Cloud TBX users with on-premises PSTN connectivity, either via cloud connector or via on-premises pool. Also, on-premises Skype for Business users and external PSTN numbers are not supported by auto attendance. Operators require Cloud TBX license, and they don't require PSTN calling license or PSTN number assigned, while directory search can reach any Skype for Business online users. Keep that in mind when sharing and planning for auto attendance with the organization that you are working with. The constraints may influence the target group of users to be enabled for or migrated to Cloud PBX. Call queues provide a hunt group solution for a Cloud PBX implementation. It currently implements attendant routing method only, whereby incoming calls will be automatically distributed in first in first out basis to all available agents. Similar to auto attendance, service number is required to be able to implement call queues. When a call queue is sitting behind auto attendance, for example, uh, press one for sales, uh, the agents for the sales team are handled by the sales call queue. Then in this case, the number used by the sales call queue will not be important and thus a new service number can be obtained from Skype for Business Online for this purpose. If, however, the existing hunt group phone number is published externally and the same phone number needs to be retained upon migration to call queue, then a number porting must be involved here as part of the planning process. You also need to understand the constraints surrounding the user that can be agents for call queues. Generally, similar to auto attendance, call queues exclude hybrid voice users at the moment. These are Cloud PBX users with on-premises PSTN connectivity, either via Cloud Connector or via on-premises pool. Also, on-premises Skype for Business users and external PSTN numbers are not supported by call queues. Agents require Cloud PBX license and they don't require PSTN calling license or PSTN number assigned. Call queues agents must use Skype for Business 2016 or Link 2013 desktop clients or IP phones that are certified for Cloud PBX. This means users using Mac or mobile clients are not viable candidate to be agents for call queues. Keep that in mind when sharing and planning for call queues with the organization that you are working with. The capabilities and constraints may influence the target existing hunt groups and group of users to be enabled for or migrated to Cloud PBX. With a small introduction of the capabilities out of the way, let's talk about the changes in plan phase assets. First off, the Skype for Business Overview and Features Comparison Matrix found in Envisioning Architecture Workshop DAC and the detailed design workshop deck have been updated to reflect the new additions to Skype for Business Online capabilities with regards to auto attendance and call queues. Template documents such as Vision Scope template have been updated to include auto attendance and call queues as part of example solution. This way, the documents are ready for you to use with minimal changes if the call routing solutions is part of the requirement. And templates for the auto attendance and call queues configurations have been added to the detailed design deck and template document to facilitate design exercise for implementation of auto attendance and call queues. These updates should allow you to bring up the attention to the availability of the call routing capabilities and if it is a requirement, to further assess the viability of auto attendance and call queues to meet the organizational requirements by leveraging both the available slides on the topic and also your own technical readiness gained through the technical training available via Skype Academy. 
if the organization that you are working with require in-depth understanding of the capabilities, then I would recommend you to pull out the technical training deck and run through the content with the project team. Once it is confirmed that auto attendance and or call queues meet the organization's call routing requirements, you can use the configuration templates in the detailed design workshop and document template to work through the planning for implementation of said capabilities. Here is the example of key questions to answer for auto attendance implementation. Surface number. Would you acquire new or port existing number? Detail of the auto attendance configurations, including business hours and after hours call handling, from greeting, call routing options, interactive menu options, etc. The configuration template should sufficiently capture the detailed configuration needed to implement auto attendance. Here is the example of key questions to answer for call queues implementation. Similar to auto attendance, decision on surface number, whether to acquire new or port existing number is the first question to ask. And then, detail of the call queues configurations from greeting, music on hold, agents group, call routing options, queue limit, call waiting time limit, offer flow, and timeout actions are the things that you need to complete as part of the configuration. The configuration template should sufficiently capture the detailed configuration needed to implement call queues. Another aspect that you might need to flesh out as part of the detailed design is how auto attendance and call queues are laid out as a comprehensive call routing solution. While both auto attendance and call queues can stand on their own, they may be combined as shown in the example here. The main line of his auto attendant is greeting callers and then provide options. And each option can either route to call queues, such as receptionist or sales team queue, and even route to another auto attendant. If applicable, work with the project team to develop similar call flow diagram to document the auto attendance and call queues design. Moving on, let's talk about the changes in the liver phase assets. In this release, deployment checklist, site rollout and migration planning assets, and testing metrics have been updated to guide the project team along the way in implementing auto attendance and call queues from deployment, migration, to testing. The updates can be considered minor. However, we expect they will help you to be ready to deliver projects that have auto attendance and call queues as part of the solution. I would recommend you to download the latest soft assets and see for yourself the changes we made to incorporate auto attendance and call queues as part of a soft journey. To sum up, through this training, I hope now you understand the updates to soft to include auto attendance and call queues as part of the solution for Cloud PBX implementation or migration. From planning to deployment, there are assets that will facilitate the design decisions and track deployment or migration completion. Based on your technical understanding of auto attendance and call queues, either briefly from this training or in depth from Skype Academy technical training contents, you should have full understanding on how to match surface capabilities versus technical and organizational requirements and assist the organization that you are working with to make the right decisions related to their call routing requirements. From the perspective of soft plan, deliver, operate, through this training, you should have the level of understanding on how to plan and implement auto attendance and call queues, such as understanding of when number porting will be involved and how it will influence project duration, and also of what to configure to implement auto attendance and call queues. These are the resources that you can take advantage of to strengthen your understanding of SOF, keep up to date with what's happening with SOF, 
And last but not least, keep yourself up to date with the technical in-depth training content from Skype Academy. Thank you very much for watching this training. See you next time.